Cause you're just a ghost inside my head. Good morning, everybody. Uh, Zach, how you doing there, buddy? It's really hot. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we decided that we're gonna go try to go steal a car uh, and try to go make this really random business deal happen because we have kind of a unique proposal and it's probably not gonna work, but we figured, you know what? It's worth a shot. Okay, so this actually went down way better than I was expecting. We went to the dealership. For anybody who cares, it's a McLaren. 570s and basically what we did is we went into the store and we've been there a couple of times before but we went in and we talked to the lady at the front desk and my best advice for any of you who are ever going to try to just walk into somewhere and pitch something you have to be persistent like don't be rude but she would have just turned us around right away so what we did is we said you know what we asked for the gm we asked if he was around she said oh he's probably in a meeting you know i can give him your card you can talk to him later blah 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 blah, blah. we said no we're just gonna hang out for a little bit we sat down in the chair we had our ronin with us so we looked super legit never ended up actually using that but we sat there for about 10 minutes or so and then eventually uh the sales manager actually came over to us and he's like what are you guys doing like what's up and we're like, hey! And then we pitched him our idea, and uh, we got the keys. Thanks. Excuse me. <laughs> those are my. Those are. This is my car, dude. Nope. I hope you guys like my whip. Now watch me whip. Now watch me whip. Don't got a reason to lie. They gave me the key to the scap, but I'd rather open my eyes, cause that's what'll keep me alive. Something that's. <laughs> that's how I take photos. Keys in my mind. Do not fuck up my day. Everybody want a headline. I don't got nothing to say. All right, guys, that's a wrap on the shoot. Um, hopefully, we can Woo. sell this car. If we can, good things are gonna happen. Shout out to Zach. I mean, honestly, all credit. His idea, driving down the highway to my house. Just a really fun way to just be spontaneous and go make something happen. But again, the takeaway from this: people at the front desk of almost any business are gonna try to turn you away. Almost always, unless it's like, unless you're trying to give them money. They get solicited almost all the time. Just don't take the first no for an answer. If they keep saying no, don't be rude, but just give it a little bit more gas. Give it a little bit more persistence than just the first no, because almost always you're gonna get that every time. So you're never gonna get anywhere. Slushies? Yes. Yes. I could do you right till it's wrong. But you're not down to ride till I'm on. Go roll another L, cause I want, 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 yeah. Look me in my eyes. You gotta stay hydrated, bro. Mmm. Okay, we're going to Zach's house now. We're gonna go play Mario Kart. Oh, yeah. If you guys are not subscribed to my uh, professional gaming channel, you should. My tongue's blue. <laughs> no way, dude. Uh -huh. I played Mario Kart. I won, obviously, because I'm no, the better him, player. I liar. Watch, watch the fuck. Video, yeah, dude. If you guys are looking for a good time, go pick up yourself a used Wii and Mario Kart. For like 50 bucks. <laughs> you, you said you spent 120, but. Well, okay. Anyway, we're on the way to my house now. We're gonna get some food on the way too, and then we have our shoot with Aaron in just a couple hours. I'm really excited because I get to post on Instagram finally. I don't have a lot of photographers that I trust to take photos of me. Apparently not me. Yeah, no, you're not a photographer. Okay, bye. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. No, we just got Subway. And now, for the best part of this episode. Alright, we're out here. We're about to go take some photos for me because I never take photos of myself and I'm super excited. This spot is absolutely epic um, and hopefully we don't get arrested. What's your definition of success? I don't trust the thoughts that come inside my head. I don't trust this thing that beats inside my chest. Who I am and who Walked I want to be. in the woods. Found a dead dollar. Oh, hey, a dollar. <laughs> That's so weird. Yeah. I push away the people that I love the most. Why? I don't want no one to know I'm vulnerable. Why? That makes me feel weak and so uncomfortable. All right. <laughs> I'm walking. Aaron's taking photos of me from behind. We're in this kind of sick place, which is kind of cool. I wonder if this is going to be any good. Look at Chase in the background. Hey Chase, how you doing? <laughs> I found a friend. I thought you could always wear pants in Minnesota. I've been doing this for most of my life with no advice. Take my pictures, I just roll the dice. Do what I like. Is a kid. First 
that he realizes, oh my God, I can do this. I can create something like new and interesting and I've got cameras like this that'll poop it out onto a computer right away and then I can Photoshop the shit out of it or put a whole bunch of filters and it's great. And that exuberance leads me to be like, I'm the greatest photographer in the world. But then like the longer you're out there, you start realizing, holy f I don't know shit. And that's like second stage, like, oh my God, I don't know shit. And then you kind of got your mastery phase, the last one where you do know it and you just don't talk about it. <laughs> because it, it's, I mean, basically you don't talk about like, oh, I'm the greatest in the world. Oh, like if, if you say that, you're not. Okay, I just want to pause here super quickly and say that what Aaron just touched on is like probably my biggest thing that I learned today. I've been doing photography seriously for about five or six years now and especially when you're around like younger people my age, it's really easy to get to the point pretty quickly, like he said, where you think that you're the best. That's why I love hanging out with Aaron so much and why today was so good was because it's another reminder that nope, you have so much more to learn. Putting yourself in situations like this where you're completely the amateur and you have everything to learn, literally the best thing ever. You will learn so much stuff. And it'll get harder as you get better, right? Like, cause it's hard for me to find people my age that I can learn from, which is why you gotta go find people that are older than you that just have more experience. And Aaron is definitely that person. So. Thank you, sir. I'm gonna put a little bit of like camera wizardry stuff into my vlogs. Not a whole ton, because I know a lot of you guys don't care, but just a little bit because it's it's kind of a big part of my life is cameras and all that stuff. So yeah, enjoy the rest of this, enjoy the photos and everything, but takeaway, always, always, always shoot or learn or do whatever you're doing from someone who's better than you. So I got these ones set up for you guys. So we'll have one main light coming in and I'll have one of you guys standing right about here. And then we're gonna try to turn away from this light a little bit more. I'm gonna be shooting from where you are. And then this light back here is just to give definition to like the backside of you. So when you see this from this angle, it's completely black. You can't see into the actual light itself. And as you rotate around, you can actually see the light in there because we're shaping that light so that it comes to a direct spot because this is just gonna be a key light. So it's gonna basically just rim you. Ooh, that sounds dirty. But this is like what you would consider classic sandwich lighting because you have one light on one side, one light on the other side, and then your subject is right in the middle. Cause you're just a ghost inside my head. You're just a ghost. <laughs> oh my god. You're just a memory on my lips. Cause you're just a ghost inside my head. I keep that just I thought you were watching this. We just did some dope stuff with uh, some smoke bombs and I don't have my glasses on because I was shooting without my glasses, but now we're bringing <laughs> out the big lights and it's nighttime and look at that sky. That is a wrap on the shoot. Uh, it is very, very dark around here, but we did some really cool motion. Yeah, there's a lot of bugs. Lots I don't, bugs. I don't like the bugs, but uh, this was super dope. Uh, honestly, like uh, some hey, of the most fun. <laughs> some of the most fun I've had doing photography. This really just shows you like how much there is to photography Dude, and how I much didn't more even you can know learn. That, like any of this was possible. Stop it! <laughs> This was dope. Shout out to Aaron. Please go follow Aaron, guys. Please. He's honestly crazy. Like, he deserves to get more credit for what he does. This is ridiculous.